Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. Just last week, the United States announced a 45% tariff on Chinese chips, and Chinese scientists came up with a black technology no poison gas, no expensive equipment, and the chip precision is directly comparable to the 3 nanometer process of ASML in the Netherlands. China's 28 nanometer chips have captured 28% of the global market, and the export volume has exceeded the trillion mark for the first time, directly hitting the product prices of international giants such as Texas Instruments and Infineon by 66% in a week. This is not a PPT breakthrough in the laboratory, but a real change in the rules of the game of the global industrial chain. When Huang Renshuen complained that Huawei disrupted the plan and Samsung chairman Li Jiayong flew to Beijing overnight to ask Xiaomi and BYD for help, Chinese engineers were using local methods to create miracles, using ordinary lithography machines to expose multiple times to make 7 nanometer chips, using lunar exploration technology to debug lithography machines and even making quantum computers outperform Google's liquid helium refrigerators at room temperature. 1. Lithography machines change lanes and overtake, 3 nanometers can still be played without EUV. The EUV lithography machine of ASML in the Netherlands was once considered the crown jewel of the chip industry, and one machine could be sold for 1 billion yuan. But the latest solid-state deep ultraviolet laser technology announced by the Chinese Academy of Sciences directly split this pearl in half. Traditional technology requires toxic fluorine gas to generate light sources, while the Chinese solution uses rare earth crystals to generate lasers, which not only reduces energy consumption by 70%, but also bypasses ASML's patent wall. Even more amazing is Shanghai Microelectronics, curved to save the country. In 2019, they could only make 90 nanometer lithography machines, but now 28 nanometer equipment has been mass produced, and they have even begun testing EUV prototypes. Wuhan engineers have used the vacuum packaging technology used in the Lunar Exploration Project to compress the optical path debugging that originally took three years to 200 days. The boss of ASML recently sighed at a shareholders meeting, the Chinese conduct research and development according to the laws of physics. The more they are blocked, the faster they progress. 2. Mature chips are cheap and sweeping the world. While the whole world is staring at the 5 nanometer and 3 nanometer battles, China has quietly made 28 nanometer and above chips a killer weapon. In 2024, such chips produced in China accounted for 28% of the global market, which directly led to an avalanche of chip prices in the North American market. Samsung's 11 and factory increased the output of memory chips by 40% overnight, TSMC's factory in the United States dragged its feet, and SMIC's 28 nanometer factory in Singapore was put into production six months ahead of schedule. The worst is Japan's Nikon. After Shanghai Microelectronics' 28 nanometer lithography machine went into mass production, the market value of this former lithography machine giant evaporated by 40%. Yangtze Memory's flash memory chips entered Apple's supply chain and Micron's quarterly losses expanded to $1.2 billion. Now even Tesla has to open its technical interface because Huawei's Hongmeng system has been equipped with domestic automotive chips. 3. Rustic innovation shocks the world. The most ruthless trick for China's semiconductor breakthrough is to play with various unprofessional technologies. The world's first photonic chip production line built in Harbin uses optical signals instead of electrical signals, and its energy consumption is only one-tenth of that of traditional chips. 
The quantum computer of the Chinese Academy of Sciences used 200 seconds to calculate the problem that Google's supercomputer would take 10,000 years. And the key is that it is still running at room temperature. Even in the unpopular field of photoresist, companies incubated by Nanjing University have broken the Japanese monopoly. What's even more exaggerated is that the core component of the lithography machine, the double work table, is 15% faster than the latest model in the Netherlands made by Chinese companies. No wonder ASML's technical director sighed, the Chinese have broken the rules of business with the power of the state. Fourth, the domino effect of the industrial chain. NVIDIA's revenue share in the Chinese market plummeted from 19% to 7%, but Huawei's Ascend AI chip sales soared three times. Seemingly contradictory is ASML, while they are being overtaken by Chinese technology, they have sold a record 58 ordinary lithography machines to China, because only China is still frantically expanding its wafer fabs. Samsung's experience is the best illustration. Operating profit plummeted by 29% in the fourth quarter of 2024, forcing Li Jiayong not to come to China for two years. This time, he cancelled the meeting with Intel, ran to Xiaomi headquarters to apologize, and turned around to talk about cooperation with BYD. Storage chip giant SK Hynix is more direct turning all the production capacity of the Waxi factory to Chinese customers. 5. The 20-year blockade turned into a god assist. The Wassenaar arrangement, which was made by the West in 1996, was intended to lock China's high-tech development. As a result, when Shanghai Microelectronics 28 nanometer lithography machine came out, Japan's Nikon was the first to kneel. Beidou satellites calibrate the lithography machine, and GPS doesn't dare to do this. Huawei and Qualcomm license 5G patents to each other, completely ending the era of one-way payment. The most embarrassing thing is the US Department of Commerce on the day they increased tariffs, China announced solid-state deep ultraviolet laser technology. Now U.S. defense companies can't figure out the source of their own chips, because two-thirds of the chips are printed with made in China. Huang Rinxuan's sentence, Huawei disrupted all our plans, now sounds like the best award speech for Chinese semiconductors. When ASML's market value evaporated 200 billion euros in half a year, engineers in Pudong were debugging domestic EUV lithography machines. When Huang Rinxuan showed off his new graphics card in the United States, Huawei's 5 nanometer AI chip was ready to be installed in the next generation of mobile phones. There is no magic behind this counterattack. Instead, there is the truth that an expert from the Chinese Academy of Sciences said, others wanted to lock us up with technology, but we turned the lock into a sword.